Hello Pisces, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of 10-6-2017. The cards I am using today are Oceanic Tarot Cards by Jane Wallace. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. Okay. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's going on for the Pisces for the weekend of 10-6-2017? Pisces, 10-6-2017. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Pisces, 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 10 6 2017 Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. All right, so seems like somebody has found some kind of love completion. It could be in love, it could be in work, but somebody is feeling complete this weekend. All right, so this completion could possibly have to do with um, some kind of uh, emotional balance that's going on, or just like somebody is like feeling more love just thinking about like where they were and how they are now you know okay all right that one wants to come all right so ooh, geez so we may be dealing with somebody who um possibly is finding happiness in their home because they may have let go of the thought process of a, a ex or they just got some kind of balance going on with um trying to accept things for the past like separating the past from the present you know mm. yeah i feel like somebody's fine and happiness with what they are doing now you know because they're like thinking about everything that happened in the past and how messed up it was and they're they're emotionally letting the negative energy go here Okay. Whew, she. Okay, so this this card makes me feel like um this could got, have to do with um like ex I mean like people that you probably had children from or I don't know maybe you just letting go of the negative energy that 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 was like halting your happiness for it right now. So some of you may be. Yeah, trying to, yeah, some of you are trying to let go of the imbalance from the excess. So basically, some of you are letting go of baggage, the emotional baggage to try to find some balance because it's messing up your current situation, which is happy at the moment. But I feel like you feel like it's going to like not be happy because you letting the negativity from somebody that you left in the past. You know? Okay, let's keep going. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, geez. Okay, so. <clears throat> some of you have, I mean, maybe just the thought process of your ex was um secret. Or maybe... um. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys were secretly thinking about, like, the partner that you're with now or the, the situation that you're dealing with now, they did not know that you were still friends with your exes. And I feel like, whew, even though this ex did you wrong, you were still dealing with him. And I feel like some of you guys are getting ready to let this go before it messes up your, your happy home, Okay. And then some of you exes may be coming back. I'm talking about like exes from when you were a kid, like that first kiss, whatever, you know, that thing we feel like a relationship and we realize that, you know, it was nothing. But some of those may be coming back and they, they may taint your uh, relationship, you know, or they may be back already and coming to taint your relationship and you got to let them go before they mess up your happy home. I think the moral of this story so far is to realize that you got a happy home. So don't let things from the past come back and mess that up. Because you're going to end up 
free and this person ain't got the passion and all the love or whatever that you need like the person that you have now do. All right. Pisces, Pisces. Okay. Wow. Okay. So uh, right now you trying to debate. It seems like you trying to debate. You know, you know your home is happy, but this is like possibly somebody that you always wanted to be with. And now they're coming in. And you're trying to think, do you want to, uh, do you want to go be free and go be with this person or, you know, stay with the happy home? All right. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. All right. So we got the six of pentacles. Yeah. So, I mean, this is saying your overall is basically finding balance. You got to find some kind of balance what's going on. It's like, I don't know, just take the best choice. You know, but with this moon card here, it's like, you know, you know, you know what's going on, you know, you don't, I don't know. The first thing I would think is why are they single? But that's me and that's all I have. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below, email me and we can set something up other than that. I want everybody to try to see if they can um, take a little time out to pray for everybody that's going through all these hurricanes. I don't know what's going on in the world today. And then the Vegas thing. I I just feel so sorry for everybody who's out there. We can't even go outside anymore. You know, I feel like if we care about each other a little bit more, talk and actually ask and, and care about the person next to us if something's wrong or not, you know, we could probably you know as a people get get rid of all this negativity and craziness that's done for no reason because people feel lost i'm feeling like it's because this person was lost not cared for but that's just my opinion so um just praying for the family and families affected and hopefully you guys can too other than that talk to you next week